I turned down a surprise cruise trip from my boyfriend and I feel horrible. About one month ago, I fell sick due extremely low iron which kept me in bed feeling weak and miserable. This past weekend I finally started feeling well enough to get my life back in order and start back working, cleaning and getting out of the house. I am a 28-year-old female by the way. My boyfriend of 8 years is 28 as well. He took very good care of me while I was sick. So tonight he explained to me how happy he was to see me feeling better and gave me lots of positive affirmations. Then he told me he had a surprise for me that he wanted to keep a surprise until the very last minute but he knew he couldn't because I would need to prepare. Then he says, I have us a five-day cruise booked to the Bahamas and we're leaving in three days. He explains that everything is already paid for and all I have to do is pack and groom myself. My heart dropped. I was initially excited because I have been telling him that I wanted to go to the beach this summer and he went beyond to make that happen. But then reality set in, I have never been on a cruise ship nor have I traveled outside the US so this would be a first for me. Then knowing that I'm just now getting my health back to normal after being weak, dizzy and faint for weeks really made me afraid to take this kind of trip so soon. My boyfriend is a very spontaneous man and I am the complete opposite. I love having everything planned out well before it's time to go. So I told him that I really appreciate him planning this trip and that no one had ever done anything like this for me before. But I'm afraid to make this kind of move so soon after getting back well and I would still love to go on vacation but maybe somewhere that we can just drive to. His initial reaction was quietness. Then he explained that he felt stupid for even trying and his feelings are hurt. Then he said he's not cancelling a great vacation to go on a basic vacation so he'll just find someone else who wants to go with him. Then he said he didn't like me right now and he's never doing anything like this again. I feel so horrible. I don't even know what to say but I just wasn't ready for an entire five-day cruise. Ah. Uh, hash help. Putting current conditions to one side. I think he tried to do a beautiful thing for both of you. He probably needs this holiday just as much as you because, by your own admission, he was right by your side throughout your low points. So I would support him taking someone else and be happy with the decision you made for yourself. Okay maybe this is just me. But getting on a cruise ship during a pandemic just seems idiotic. He took a shot and fell short. Some women would love this others will hate it. You fall in the ladder. He'll just go with someone else and hopefully you both can get past this. Just don't ever expect him to do anything like this again. Once bitten twice shy. Well I see his point. I wouldn't cancel either to go on a driving holiday. As someone who hates surprises, I would still probably go. You really need to work on your communication though. My girlfriend knew one month and not to pull anything like that. I have never met anyone that actually enjoys surprises like this. I would also turn down the offer, though my spouse and I consult each other whenever making a purchase of more than $10 and never make plans that would involve one of us sleeping somewhere other than our home without talking it over first. After 8 years you two should have rules for trips and finances like this already in place. Of course be sure to express how you appreciate the gesture, but in the future you would like to be consulted before decisions like this are made to ensure both of you can be happier. Do try not to feel horrible though because it does sound like he is overreacting. I hope you feel better. Your reaction was completely justified. I wouldn't want to be stuck on a cruise ship during hurricane season while not feeling 100%, regardless of COVID. Do you even have a passport? Him making you feel bad about this is a pretty immature response. Let him go without you if he wants, and enjoy some peace and quiet at home. My boyfriend is a very spontaneous man and I am the complete opposite. This what I notice the most in this post, because that could be an issue. It isn't necessarily a deal breaker, but it could prove difficult to compromise, if not fundamentally incompatible, in the future. I'm not a surprise person and my husband luckily isn't, either. Also, cruise ships in the middle of a pandemic? That sounds very dumb. My husband can't stay away from his ex. I had enough. Shall I leave? We've been married for almost 7 years, together for 11 years. When I met him he was in a low point because he just separated from his girlfriend. The culture, the parents, the village didn't approve their relationship so the girl got married and moved away to a different country. Then me and my husband met. Madly in love, we were happy despite coming from different places, countries. But sometimes his phone would ring at night and he would talk in his language so a female voice. When it continued even when we moved together in the UK, I told him it's unacceptable. He sworn that will never happen again. 
Years passed and on our first wedding anniversary I was texting him at work that I'm so excited to see him tonight. He never replied. I thought nothing of it but when at home I opened the laptop I saw that he was busy chatting to his ex again. He was sending pics at me and she would say nasty things and he never protected me, we argued big time. He blocked her and after a while it faded and we were happy again. Then we started to have problems and this time he called her, on Xmas, and while we were trying to fix our marriage with therapy he continued to chat to her at night. In secret. He always got rid of the evidence. At the morning he never got up with me and our baby which was one of our problem at the first place. And he and his ex had a fight over the phone. All of a sudden he was ashamed of his lies and he told me that they were talking the last eight months almost every day. I had enough. But for the sake of our family I don't know what to do. He didn't really say sorry just like, yeah, I've done a mistake. Never happen again, if she would have been in the same country would they sleep together too? How can her husband okay with this? Are they emotionally dependent on each other? It bothers me because they didn't break up because they wanted to but because they had to. What should I do? I say that you've tried everything you could. And you guys have been together for a long time so the fact that even now he's still talking to her, he's never gonna change. I come from a broken family so from my experience I say that you guys should split. It'll be better that way instead of having the baby grow up with both parents arguing all the time and not being on the same page. You need to leave. He has been emotionally cheating on you all along, lying to you about it, and only says now that it was a mistake because they had a fight. When they make up from the fight, he will be right back to cheating and lying. You deserve better. He's just going to do this over and over and over again. The only thing you can do is either make peace with her being his virtual wife or remove yourself from the situation. It bothers me because they didn't break up because they wanted to but because they had to. What should I do? Here is your problem. You were never his gold medal. You were the rebound silver or even bronze. You satisfy him but he wants gold. Most people would walk away at this situation when it first formed but now after a decade there's a kid involved. She is the one who got away and for your own sanity, you need to separate. You'll make him happy, more so if homegirl also does the same, their little fight not going to keep them separate too long. But you need to start looking out for your mental state and drop this guy. I would be fed up with this shit. I'd probably leave if my partner was pulling this crap he has broken a lot of trust here. He's unworthy. The deal breaker is not that he is keeping a friendship with an ex. She is clearly someone important to him she's married and he is married and they are still close. That could be okay under other circumstances. But the deal breaker is that he lied to you a lot. And persisted being sneaky when he knew this was a source of hurt and insecurity for you. Is this a serious question? I think if you read what you wrote, it answers itself. And that answer is, you should have left 11 years ago. That's awful. It's been years, he proved that he won't change. I'm sorry but you and your baby are the second choice, not first. And you deserve to be the first choice. Leave and build a life where you and your kid comes first. Do not teach your kid it's okay to cheat. Do not let your kid believe that they need to learn to come second. He's not a good male figure for your kid. Edit. I realized you never wrote your kid's gender. I have no idea why I assumed you have a daughter. Sorry for that. Can't shake this guilty feeling. A couple weeks ago I, 29M, caught my GF, 31F, cheating and instead of talking to her, I talked to the guy she's been cheating with. He said he'd end things with her that night and wished me the best of luck. I probably should have ended things with her then and there but I figured since he was out of the picture, things should be fine between she and me. And they were for several days. Not sure what all he said when he confronted her but she got suspicious of me and yesterday asked if I talked to him. I denied it cause I didn't want to incriminate myself and wanted her to just be upfront about her actions. I asked her if there was anything going on and she got defensive and said she didn't have to tell me anything if I wasn't going to tell her anything. She came back and asked again and I denied again. She asked why someone would lie about me saying I spoke to the other guy and I said I dk. I'm aware this is messy and I should have handled myself like an adult but I behaved like a child. I didn't want to expose myself unless she exposed herself. Then she left the house around 3 p.m. and hasn't returned. On my way to work just before 7 p.m. I told her the truth and she didn't say anything. Tried calling again and it went straight to voicemail. And now I can't shake this guilty feeling that I fucked up. I mean I know I did by not trusting her and catching her cheating and then denying everything until the last second. I just really wanted her to come clean about everything. 
I keep thinking about how I shouldn't have contacted him and I'd be none the wiser. How do I shake this feeling? How do I stop feeling like I'm the only one that did wrong? There is nothing to be guilty of. She was cheating, she was suspicious of you knowing. You wanted to avoid a confrontation and evaded it, until you told her. Now she's ghosting you cause she's gonna try to either manipulate you, guilt trip you, or just pity party herself into getting you to forgive her. Let her go and be happy. She won't come clean. She's playing a guilt trip on you. You shouldn't feel guilty at all. She's the one in the wrong. I'm hope this isn't a real situation. Why would you feel guilty? Because you figured out your girlfriend was cheating on you? Break up with her. Don't let her flip the situation. If you don't have kids together just leave. Dude you are crazy if you feel like you did anything wrong. Most people wouldn't handle this situation as calmly as you have. She's the one that should be feeling all of the guilt. She betrayed you, then lied and now she's ignoring you. She knows she has power over you so unfortunately she'll either manipulate you into forgiving or she'll leave you. You deserve better anyway. Focus on yourself king. Same situation myself. I couldn't resist talking to the guy and checking her phone to find out what I wasn't being told. Not all relationships end with cheating it might give you an opportunity to work things out and come back even stronger together. If that is what you both want of course. She will most definitely try to guilt trip you. Don't fall for it. IDK about you but for me cheating is the be all end all. I would break up with her if I were you. My advice is beat her to the punch and end it before she can try to manipulate you. I hope things work out for you. My, 34 male, stay at home wife, 30 female, is just not the best cook and don't know what to do. My wife just started staying at home this year since we are having a child soon so she agreed to cook on week nights since I work often work late and we cook together on weekends. She is off and on with cooking but tonight was the first night I just had to say, no, and not eat it. She made meatloaf but I don't think it was done. The inside was soft like slightly runny pudding and not firm. Parts were only lukewarm but other parts were burnt. I noticed she didn't eat it either, because she knew herself it was not good. But when I kindly said I just don't like it, she said she lost her appetite and that is why she did not eat it. Then she started crying and threw all of it away. I kindly asked, did you like it? And she replied that, I thought it was fine, so I think she was kind of trying to make me feel like the reason she feels bad and did not eat it. If she did think, it was fine, she would have kept it for her lunch for the next few days but she just tossed the whole thing. I think she is just really self-conscious about her cooking, but deep down knows that it was no good but wants me to still eat it, and possibly get food poisoning, etc. What do I do? I would like to pay for her to attend some cooking classes but don't know how to bring it up without hurting her feelings. I would join for the classes but I just don't have the time since I work 12 hours per day and she's at home. Perhaps I should look at weekend classes we can both attend? Who cooked before this agreement? When you say you cook together in the weekends, what does that mean you are showing her what to do? You are each doing separate tasks? With the Food Network actual classes are unnecessary. Blue Apron, man. It's really easy to look up recipes for meals that you both like. My dad is a cook and I learned from him telling me his recipes. He never showed me, just told me what to do through a few texts. It took a while, there were some gross things. But now my husband and I make excellent food almost every night. Make a list of meals that you both like and look up recipes together. Maybe make them together first on the weekends and then let her do it herself. Google is free. Following a recipe is not hard. Dude, there's a ton of food delivery places like Blue Apron or Hello Fresh. Your wife is about to be tired frustrated emotional and scatter-brained keeping baby happy and healthy, so a box of goodies showing up to the door will be such a relief. You can also put cookies or egg bite hearty oatmeal, not just dinner fixins. I think the cooking classes for the two of you could be a answer, just frame it as a fun date night thing. Hello Fresh or Blue Apron could also be a good solution. Talk to her, be honest, thank her for trying her best with all the cooking and offer to buy a delivery service like Hello Fresh or Blue Apron.